Hello, class. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you guys? Hello, teacher. Hello. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. Guys. All right. Welcome, guys. Hi. How was your long weekend? Pretty good? Pretty good, teacher. Yeah? You had a good weekend? Good long weekend? Yes. Yeah? Anybody had to work yesterday? Or everybody had a day off yesterday? Yes? Everybody had a day off? I had a day off. Oh, good. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, good. Yeah, that's important to have some time off. All right, guys. Well, um, welcome to today's class, our last class of the module. Imagine. That's incredible, right? Um, but yes, okay. So uh, we are going to, uh, first of all, let's uh, take our attendance um, so that, okay, so let's begin. All right, um, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Andres Giovanni. Present teacher. All right. Edgar. Edgar? No? Not here? Okay. All right. Um, Elsie, Janet. Present teacher. All right. Um, Okay, Fabiola. Fabiola, Fabiola, no, no Fabiola. Okay, Francisco Javier. Francisco Javier, not here. Okay, Heidi. Present teacher. All right. Welcome, um, Irene. Irene, not here, Irene? Okay, Josue, is Josue here? No, Josue is not here? Okay, all right, Juan Francisco? Juan Francisco, no, tampoco. Okay, Carla? Present teacher. Oh, welcome, Carla. In Melissa, is Melissa here? Yes, it's her present. All right. Okay. Luis, is Luis here? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Luis. Manuel Alejandro. Manuel. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful, Manuel. Okay, welcome. Manuel de Jesus. Is Manuel de Jesus here? No? Okay. Um, Marvin. Present teacher. Welcome, Marvin. When? Present teacher. Present teacher. Wonderful. Welcome. Yes. Is Warner. Warner, can you hear us? Warner, can you hear us or no? No? Hmm, maybe something's wrong with the microphone. Okay. Um, Good evening. Oh, oh, hello, Edgar. Welcome. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Noemi, is Noemi here? No, I mean, no, that's it. Okay, what about Yvonne? Is Yvonne here? Yes, thank you, sir. All right, wonderful. Okay, all right. Um, Daniel. Hi, good evening, present teacher. Good evening, Daniel, welcome. Is Jorge here? What about Marlene? And Ricardo. 
Is Ricardo here? No? Um, Ricardo have a little problem with, uh, with the, the um, sorry, él escribió en WhatsApp lo de su bebé. Ah, ok, ok. Va, ya lo voy a revisar. Ok, um, let's see, ok, bye. Um, let me, let me make sure that I have everybody. Um, people that I didn't hear were Fabiola. Present teacher. Oh, ok, there she is. Ok, uh, what about Francisco? Francisco, no, right? Ok, all right. Um, what about I, Irene? Irene, no. And Josue? Tampoco. Ok. Um, Manuel de Jesús? Manuel de Jesús? No. Ok. And Noemi? Noemi? Ok. Ok. Jorge? Marlene, Ricardo. Okay. All right. So I think I have everybody. Um, all right. So welcome to today's class, which is actually our last class um, of this module and of this week, right? Because uh, we are going to be finished uh, this week, right? And if everything, um, if all the documents have been presented today, then we should be starting on Monday. Um, question, everybody, everybody um, eh, was made sure that your documents were, uh, were given in? Yes? yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Yes, teacher. Anybody not sure? No. So I'm, I'm hope I'm, um, I hope that um, that we are okay then. So um, so hope hopefully all the if all the documents are in place, then we should be starting starting next Monday. Okay. So basically we just have class today, and then we have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off, and then we would start Monday. But, 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 but I'm not guaranteeing that we would have to wait for the official um, notification, right? So let's just make sure that we wait for that. Okay, so um, first of all, oh, uh, one more thing. Um, before I forget, I'm going to remind everybody, today is the last day you can work in the platform. It closes at 12 today because I'm going to be um, submitting the grades uh, very, very early tomorrow morning. And so um, like, I'm, like, I literally mean really, really early, like be before eight o'clock, okay? So that means that, um, you know, you don't really have tomorrow <laughs> to, to be working on that, okay? So um, that's why I really make, need everybody to make sure. I saw some people that were had not finished the or better so had even started. Some people started, other people didn't even start the final exam. So I just want to know if there's anybody that's having problems at this moment, because that needs to be completed. Like everything needs to be completed. So do you guys have any problems, any questions that you want me to go over? Teacher, in, yeah. in my case, in my case, I don't find final in my exam because I um, I think today is the final day. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, today I see it, the course is closed. Mm, you can't work on it? Yes, you can still work on it. I was uh, sending you a message previously to you, teacher, because I thought that you couldn't work. But yes, it's allowing to submit yeah. either the homework and to complete the final test. Yeah, I, I think that the, there's a. I, I think we talked about this before that there was a little um, typo, let's say, in the final 
date, but the platform continues open because I need to be able to get into the platform and see your grades and submit them. So it's you're still able to work on it. It's still possible, Wendy, okay? So, pero así como que a meterle, <laughs> because today is like the last day, literally. Like I said, I'm going to be submitting the grades very early tomorrow morning, but they need, they need the grades like before eight o'clock, right? They, at eight o'clock, Insaforp opens, and we need to be able to submit those things, okay? They, they need to be able to access that information uh, when they open. So that's why it's important that you guys uh, finish today, okay? All right, so Wendy, uh, what you can do is during the class, uh, maybe try to get into the platform, see if you can work on it. And if you can, let me know, okay? But you should, you should be able to, okay? Okay, okay, thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, anybody else having any problems with anything from the platform that I can help you with? Anybody? No? Okay. So I'm guessing then everybody should, in theory, uh, be able to finish tonight, right? Everything from the course. Is that correct? Yeah? I see the majority of you finished um, very early, uh, which is great because I was actually... Um, uh, looking at the grades during the week uh, during the weekend and I was just you know putting in some grades of the people that had already finished and I could see that many many of you had already finished everything like probably I would say half of you had already finished everything by the weekend so that's wonderful that's um I really really appreciate that and I think I thank you for that and applause very good mm -hmm. that, that's that's what you should be doing try to go like if you try to uh, do the exercises like every day, you, you don't have a problem finishing the platform. Like really those exercises are not so difficult in the sense that they won't take you too, too long. Uh, there might be a, a, a question that all of a sudden you're like, oh, I don't understand what, how, how to do this. But for the most part, you should be able to finish those exercises in, like in 10 minutes. 10, 15 minutes. I mean, that doesn't take long. And during the whole day to do, you know, to take 10, 15 minutes, it's really not too long. You know? So I think you guys can do it. So um, that way you don't have to be rushing at the end. Okay. Um, anything that you guys want to comment about? No? No, that's so everything's okay then, right? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Okay, good. Um, uh, one more thing that I wanted to ask you guys. Um, everybody, everybody did receive the um, the notification of the survey for today, right? Everybody has the notification, whether yes. it's email or WhatsApp. Yes, teacher. Yeah, yes, good. women. Yes. Good, good, good. Because we are going to be doing that today. Okay, we're going to be looking at that um, today. Okay, so in that case, um, let's begin. Um, tell me, please, if you can see my, my PowerPoint. Just give me a moment. Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. So, beginner module five, unit four, which is the last part, company procedures and policies. And today is Tuesday, May 11th, 2021. The date is the day is number 20, right? So it's the last day. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so let's start with this part. 
first of all, let's look at um, on Friday. No, yes, Friday. On Friday, we were looking at um, different policies and procedures. Okay, and I asked you guys to do this. I don't. Do you guys remember this? It says write a short paragraph about policies and procedures at your workplace. Use if and when to join clauses. Do you guys remember that? Yes? Yeah? Everybody did it? Everybody's finished? Or do you guys need more time? Guys? Anybody? Hi, hey, guys. Do you did you finish or you you need more time? I did. In my case, I forgot the homework, so I will need more time. Okay, okay. Thank you for being honest. All right. What about the rest of you? Yes, I need time to do it. Okay. Okay. All right. So let I'll give you. Um, how does five minutes sound? Would you be able to do this in five more minutes? Okay. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. So write a short paragraph about policy procedures at your workplace. So the the short paragraph, I would say, you know, it, what's from I don't know seven to ten sentences, right? Okay, that would be like a short paragraph. Seven to seven, yeah, seven to ten sentences, something like that. And you're gonna use if and when to join clauses. Remember, we use we use if um, when we are talking about situations that are not so usual, not so common, and when is more for common situations, right? Usual things that happen. Okay. So I'll give you about five minutes to do that. If you guys are needing any help, you can go ahead and ask me about vocabulary, anything at all. Okay, did you?
Okay. Is that okay? Because um, that's about five minutes. So, you ready? Yes? Yeah? Yes? No, guys? Please let me know. Mm. One yeah? more minute, minute please. <laughs> One more minute, okay. okay. Thank you for being um, okay. here. Okay, so what we're going to do now, since you guys are pretty much finished, we're going to work in small groups like this, right? About three people approximately. Mm, there might be some groups with about four, but we're going to try to make it three, group, three people. Go to your breakout room and share your ideas with your group. Okay? So, um, okay. let's get you guys into breakout rooms. Um, eh, Warner, are you into two different um, devices? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. So now I know, yeah, there should be then um, enough for everybody um, to have to be three people in a group. So that, that should be perfect. Okay. All right. So I'll open it up, you guys. Um, I'll give you about seven minutes, okay? Let's see. Okay. About seven minutes. Okay, so go ahead and join your breakout room. Hi, teacher. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi. Um, were you able to finish? <laughs> Just I start. could only write three, three sentences. 
Oh, three sentences. Okay, mm -hmm. well, share those sentences. Okay. Um, um, yeah. Uh, Ricardo, you were the one who sent the the um the message about about not being able to like that you were in in the because, uh, something about your daughter no yes yes uh, oh. i was in the hospital with my with my uh, big daughter oh i'm so sorry but, uh, that. yes she okay but, now? She, uh, it's just a headache but uh, for her age is really strange mm, i'm sorry to hear that Yes, she's only six years old, so a headache in that age. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yes. But um, so she she got medicine and everything. She's okay. Uh, yes. Uh, vacuna, vaccine, vaccine. Vaccine. Oh, okay. Vaccine. Yeah, yeah, one vaccine, and. Uh, she got a vaccine or a shot? Like, una inyección? Yes, let's see. Uh -huh. Una vacuna o una inyección? Uh, no, inyección, inyección, yeah. Okay, so she got a shot. A shot. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, let's see. I'm sorry. And take some, uh -huh, yes, uh, is that, just that. Yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm, well, I, I hope she gets better and, and thank you for, you know, being responsible and everything and connecting, even though it's a difficult situation. So thank you. Yes. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, go Thanks. ahead and, and um, you know, go ahead and talk. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Uh, fue la parte de atrás que le pegó. Sí, me quebró el pumper y Joder. el baúl, prácticamente el baúl entonces, no abre, entonces tengo que chequear a ver eh, si está dañada la, la bisagra. No fue abre. un buen golpe, fue un buen golpe entonces. Y se durmió la señora, o sea, fue una señora. Joder. Qué peligroso, pero lo bueno es que lo tiene asegurado, en mi caso no tengo seguro. Hi guys. No tengo seguro. Hi, Hi. Okay. Uh, I have a little problem this Saturday. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you guys finished? Um, or do you still you're or you're still working on that? Yeah, we are talking about uh closes. Okay. All right. If you guys need anything, just let me know. Okay. Uh, Miss, okay. I have a questions about the platform. Okay. This is numbers is this part. Uh, that part is the same as in at, um, at number 12. Is a homework number 12. Number 12. Okay. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Yep. Okay. 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 Uh, Josue, for example, um, uh, I have to ask for my boss. Okay. Uh, let me see another example. Mm. Oh, shit. Um, change. I changed my 
should are you guys finished um sharing yes teacher yeah yes okay okay good 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 okay perfect so uh, i'll see you guys in the break in the main room in a moment okay okay uh, i i dwight um uh, in the parking um the equipment that you have to use when you go to the warehouse or when you go to the promotional warehouse we have policy for everything it's but nice that, yes i know we get it but it's nice yeah because the safety yeah. is a priority in your company yeah totally totally and now the the most important is the, the protocols of covid so mm. the company um, uh, give us uh, all you need to, to be healthy, to be safe. They give us the face mask, the hand sanitizer. Um, what else? If you need. Okay, so I hope everybody had opportunity of sharing your policies. Um, would you would you like I would like to have a, a few people um, read their policies to us and remember the idea with this as well as to use the if and the when right so if if and when clauses. All right, so how about if I ask um, Irene, Irene, can you help me with, with the first one Irene? The first, the, the, well, the first um, turn. <laughs> okay, uh, about um, our group, our team, for example, um, when a scanner is working, the area is, is clean uh, about the, uh, uh, Luis, Luis? is my my partner and in my case in my company for example when the people is healthy they're working excellent if they're sick they are go to a doctor always okay okay so when they are healthy they work well if they are sick okay they are they they have to go to the doctor. Okay, that sounds good. Very good. That's excellent. Okay, um, Marvin, can you share one of your policies? Okay, teacher. Uh, in my company, when we have problem, we have two options. If it's minor foul, we resolve alone. And uh, when we have one problem, great when the equipment call up the technician level two. Okay, sounds good. Sounds very good. Okay, um, let's see. Um, how about if, um, Yvonne, can you help, out, help us out with another one? Okay. Uh, you can get into the production floor if you wear sandals, um, you can get into the warehouse if you don't have access. Uh, when the reports are not ready, I have to wait for them. And you can wear jeans when you have a meeting. Uh, if you are sick, 
uh, you should go to the nursing. Okay, that sounds great. All right, very, very good. Um, that's perfect. So thank you. So yeah, that's wonderful. So you guys have a lot of policies um, in your company policies and procedures, and that's wonderful. Um, it's important because uh, that way everybody in the in the company knows how to act and what to do in certain situations. That's very important. And yeah, safety above all, right? So that's very important. Especially now with this pandemic, I think um, safety is one of the most important things uh, for companies, right? To keep their their employees, um, you know, healthy, and that way they can they can continue working, right? So that's very important. Okay, guys, um, any questions about if clauses or when clauses? No. No details. Okay, wonderful. So in that case, what we're gonna do is uh, continue. Michelle, I, I have a question, I'm sorry, uh, I was on mute. Okay. Uh, I have a question, I was reading, I, I didn't complete to watch the, the video for Friday, but it says that when we use when for usual situation and if for unusual situations, but it says we use a comma when if or when come at the beginning. But the examples I'm looking at here, they don't have a comma. I don't know if there is a. Uh, the examples where? For example, when I forget my tools, the comma goes after the when or where the commas goes. That is my, my just my confusion. Because in the. Um, description on how to use the if and when it says at the end use a comma when if or when come at the beginning okay so this is this is our this is what we saw on friday okay uh, -huh. uh and you are referring to which in the description so the example i'm looking at is the last one that's right when i forget my tools so where the commas goes after the when or after you complete the sentence. No, after the the when clause. Oh, I got it. So we, got it. We, were, we were looking at on Friday that there are mm -hmm. only two clauses, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. For example, the here's the first one. Uh-huh. I said for a backup set. Sorry, I asked for a backup set. The second one is I forget my tools. Mm -hmm. Okay. The other one is when uh, I forget my tools. I asked for, for a backup set, right? So mm -hmm. it's the same idea, right? But if you notice in the first one, um, it's connected with the word when. When goes, uh, exactly, exactly. It's connecting the two clauses. But if you notice in this mm -hmm. one, the when is at the beginning, so it cannot connect the two clauses. So instead, Egg now. You now uh -huh. what we do is, we use a comma to connect the two clauses. Got it. Awesome. That was my confusion. I didn't understand, but now I understand it. Thank yeah. you very much. You're welcome. Okay. All right. So, so everything else is okay. It's all clear. Yeah. Oh. For me. For you, it's okay. All right. Good. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. In that case, let's move on. Um, so we're going to be actually, we're gonna have a reading um, so that we can practice vocabulary having to do with, uh, with policies and procedures. So everybody, I think can see my PowerPoint. Yes, right? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, right? Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right, great. So let's take a look here about the reading, okay? Um, I have here the reading about what is a policy and what is a procedure. And I'm going to actually ask two volunteers to help me out with this. So who would like to help? A volunteer, well, do volunteers. Can I do it? Uh, sure, of course you can do it. Yes, you can read the policy. And who wants to read the procedure? Me. Uh, who's, wait, I can't see, who's me? Francisco. 
Oh, Wonder yeah. Francisco. Okay, I thought I heard. I thought it was your voice, but I. I I couldn't see you in that moment. Okay, so wonderful. Yes, uh, you can read about the procedure, Francisco. Okay, and before you start reading, Ricardo, um, I want to give the instruction to everybody. What I need you guys to do is, as you listen to Ricardo and Francisco reading, I need you guys to pay attention to the two things that we always talk about, pronunciation and vocabulary. If there are any questions about pronunciation or vocabulary, you can circle them in your book, right? So you can um, easily ask questions about them. So we're not waiting for everybody just to, to read it again and see which word you didn't understand, okay? So like do it immediately, right? As, you know, in the moment that um, the Francisco and uh, Ricardo are reading, you are circling, okay? Sounds good? Okay. Okay. So, uh, uh, can we ask you at the time he is reading, or no, we, no, no. Uh, we'll, we wait for day to finish? Yeah, we'll wait okay, for okay. him to finish the, okay. the paragraph, and then we'll look at that. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So go ahead, Ricardo. Please help us with what is what is a policy? What is a policy? A policy is a, a predetermined course of action, which is established to the. Uh, to provide a guide toward accept business strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a direct link between an organization, vision, other day-to-day -day operations. Policies identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision makers on how to handle issues as they arise. This is accomplished by providing the reader with limits and choice of alternatives that can be used to guide their decision-making process and they attempt to overcome problems. I like to think of policies as a globe where national boundaries, oceans, mountain, range, and, the, and other major features are easily identified. Thank you very much, Ricardo. Very good. Excellent. Okay, so let's start with the vocabulary, first of all. Start with vocabulary. You can write it in the chat. I think that will be easier. And after that, the pronunciation, right? Yeah, then no, we'll do pronunciation. Okay. All right, so okay. go ahead and write in the chat. Thank you very much. Just make sure that if you are writing something that somebody else has not already written it. Oh, we have lots of words. It's wonderful. Okay. okay, so I'm going to guess that that's it. I don't see anybody else writing anymore. So let's go ahead and circle those words. Okay, so the first word I can see is arise, um, which I think is over here, arise. Arise, it means to, um, uh, it, it, it means to present itself, okay? So when it says to handle issues as they arise, so it means as they present themselves, okay? Does that make sense? No? No, teacher. Okay. Yeah, it's like when they show up, at the they, time when they show up, okay. When they show up, they present themselves, exactly. We do have to understand the word issues. Do you guys understand the word issues? Yes, trouble, problem. Problems. Yes. Exactly. Problems. So it says to handle issues or handle problems as they arise. So they arise like they come up, they show up, right? They present themselves. 
right? So the moment that you can see a problem, it happens, that's a rise, okay? How do you say a rise in Spanish? Al momento que se presente. Se presentan, surgen. Llegan. Llegan. That's kind of the idea. Okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, the next word I see is accomplished. Uh, let me just find out where is the word accomplished. Ah, I saw it. Okay. So, accomplished means do something and uh, finish it. Okay. When you, when you do something and you finish it, you accomplish, like you have a goal and you finish the goal, you do the goal, that's accomplish. Okay. So accomplish has the idea of not just doing something, but finishing and reaching that goal that you have that's accomplished. Does that make sense? No, Marvin? No, teacher. So, so when you have a goal, okay, Marvin, you, you have a goal, okay? Uh, let, give, give me a goal that you have, a, a, a goal that you have, um, you know, a personal goal that you have. Oh, send a report anomaly. To send a report where? Anomaly. Anomaly? Yeah. A report. Okay. All right. So the moment you finish the report and you send it, you have accomplished that goal. Oh, okay. So okay. It's, it's not- Did I complete it? Sorry? It's like completed. Like complete, yeah. Like reach, obtain, yeah. Oh, okay, teacher, okay. 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 And, and, and it's accomplished, uh, we don't pronounce it. I, I want to take advantage that you are working on that word. It's okay. accomplished or, or is it? The stress is on the second syllable, accomplished. Accomplished, okay. It is a finished goal. Sorry? It is a finished goal. It's a finished goal, yes, exactly. It's a finished goal. Mm -hmm. How do you say accomplished in Spanish? Completar. 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 Realizar, cumplir. Cumplido. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's cumplido. Okay, so if this is accomplished, that means esto se, es cumpli, oh, se cumple, okay. All right, the next word yes, I see you. is boundaries. Boundaries are limits, the limits that you put something, okay? So the national boundaries, um, like think about the national boundaries as like the border of a country, right? Like when you, for example, how do you know when you leave El Salvador and you go to Guatemala? How do you know? Because there is a border, right? Or a boundary that has been placed that says, okay, over here, it's El Salvador, over there is Guatemala. So that is a boundary, it's a, it's a limit. To a to something, okay. Is must is this word must used for physical limits? No. no, no, it can be used both for physical or figuratively speaking. For example, ah, okay. Um, like a, in a, okay, I'll give you for example in workplace you have to put boundaries for your work as well. Mm -hmm. For example, um, is it okay? For someone to be, for your boss to be contacting you at two in the morning? Okay. Well, unless if you're a, if you're a doctor, maybe it's okay, right? You know, if you're someone that works in the area, that's okay. But generally speaking, 
you know, your, your boss shouldn't be contacting you at two in the morning, right? So you have to put a boundary. You have to say, okay, I will, you know, I will take these calls until this time, right? But after this time, that's, that's my time, right? So um, that's mm -hmm. a boundary that you put. It's not something physical, but, okay. it is, but it is figuratively speaking. Yeah, you can put a boundary to the limit. Richard, when there is, it's, it's, it's como limites. Yes. And yes. Different, uh, I see, I say, uh, a border is from Vera. It's different. Yes. Uh, but in this case, the national boundary is talking about the same thing as borders. In this okay. context. Yes. But boundaries. Uh, the... But, it, but in some case, uh, boundaries can uh, can apply to in in any other uh, limits, like um, uh, limit of city, limit of uh, town, or any other border. Yeah. yeah. Speed, for example. Sorry. When we're talking about uh, speed limits, it's most common to use the word speed limits. Uh, not in that case, boundaries would not probably be a good word to use. I would okay. say it would be preferable to say limit. It is, only, oh, okay. it is only for uh, geographical uh, limits or... Um, no, like I said, no. Politician, politician li limits? No, um, boundaries can be used figuratively speaking. But, um, but when you say, for example, um, speed limit that means the maximum speed that you can go so in that case a limit is not a boundary it's a it's it's the the maximum that's what it means right so that's in that context it doesn't really work okay yeah okay all right uh another word i see is towards Towards. First time I heard is two words that uh, we almost say tower. <laughs> right, I can't see it. Where, 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 oh, I find it. Okay. Yeah, I found it. Good. Toward, toward means the movement, um, the movement that you make in the direction of something. Okay, it's moving in the direction of something. That's what it means toward. Okay, I'll repeat moving in the direction of something. So if I, okay, so if I'm walking and I walk in like over here, I'm walking towards you. Okay, so I'm walking toward because I'm walking in the direction of you. But if I'm walking over here, I'm walking opposite. I'm not, I'm walking toward the mirror, for example, right? Does that make sense? Yes. How do you say toward in Spanish? Como el mismo sentido. Asia. 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 Asia, H A C E A, no Asia. Yeah, you know the continent. Yes, <laughs> not the continent. No, no. Okay. Okay. So H A C I A, Asia, right? All right. Como, como, como yendo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When you go, yeah, exactly. All right, ranges. In this case. It's not just ranges. Well, ranges are like, it's almost like a, ranges are like a, something that is um, like, that um, like a set from here to here. That's a range, okay? And like, for example, from a, a range from zero to five, how would you, how happy are you? Right, for example, in a range from zero to five. So it means that you have this limit and this limit, 
right? And so mountain ranges, most of the time, mountains are together, right? You will find many mountains together most of the time. Most of the time, you don't find just one mountain, right? I mean, there are some mountains that just are by themselves, but the majority of the mountains have, like they are in groups together. Like think about like the Swiss Alps, um, the Himalayas, the Andes, um, the, the Rocky Mountains, Rocky Mountain. Rocky Mountain. Rocky Mountains, all of those are mountains that are groups together, right? So there is a limit where the mountains start over here and there is a limit where the mountains stop here. That, that all of those mountains that are in the middle are called a mountain range. Okay? How do you say mountain range in Spanish? Rango. Yes, rango in, in general, but mountain range? Uh, mountain ranges? Ca cadena de, de montañas. montañas. Cadena okay. montañosa. Uh huh. Cadena montañosa, exactly. So oh, okay. it, it's like the group of all the mountains together. Okay. Okay, the next word I see here is strategies. And strategies is very, very similar to Spanish. Okay, so this is what we call a cognate. Cognates are words that are similar to another, another language, words that are very similar. For example, I'll give you an, a very clear um, cognate. Right, let me see um, a very simple cognate. Um, predetermined, let's say. Predetermined is a cognate. You don't need to know what predetermined is to know what it is, right? Because it's so similar to Spanish that you don't. You already know what's predetermined. Predeterminado. Predeterminado, which is so similar, right? Those two words, predetermined and predeterminado, are so similar that you do not need an explanation. Strategies is a word that is also a cognate. How would it be in Spanish? My strategy. Estrategias. Estrategias, exactly. All right, so that's a that's a cognate. And um, handle. Okay. Let me see where is handle. Handle. Okay, to handle. It means manage. Okay, when you handle problems or handle issues, it means that you, you deal with them, okay? How to deal with problems, how to deal with issues, okay? Deal with, got it? Yes? Okay, all right. Uh, we've talked about boundaries, accomplished. Yeah, that's it. I think, yeah, I think we've covered all the vocabulary. Okay, questions about the pronunciation. I have one uh, with the word at the beginning. I don't know if course, course. Like, I know course is something bad. Right. Yeah. right. Very good. I'm glad you, you mentioned that. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I'm gonna. You know, I, I get it all the time. I get. I <laughs> students always tell me, teacher, when is the course going to the course going to <laughs> English course? <laughs> when is the curse? And I say, curse? You know, because curse means maldición, mm -hmm. right? So, so they say, when is the curse going to end? Right? And I said, so <laughs> <"Is that> bad. <laughs> So yes, it, you got to be careful with that word. It's not curse because curse, like I said, is maldición. 
which is spelled like this. Okay. Okay. Curse. That's curse. Which and should they should not be confused with the word course. Okay. So course. So this one notice the, the pronunciation, the, the 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 stress is more on the U, cur, like curse. And here it's on the O, course. Course. Okay. Anything else? And this is the same one used for English cards. Right. Ah, okay. Okay. Right. Got it. Anything else? And also I have another one. Uh, sometimes I have problems with the which without T and the which with T. I have a confusion on that. After the word action, which is established to provide at the beginning, the first line. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. okay. Um, the pronunciation of the two is the same. Which, okay. which? Okay, which, which? Ah, the same. okay. It's the same, Okay. but the, the context will tell you which one it is. Mm -hmm. um, and so the, the, the context will tell you which, which it is, <laughs> okay? <laughs> And um, and of course the spelling. The spelling is going to be different. So just for you guys to know what we're talking about, I'll write this down. <clears throat> okay, so the one we have in the in the text is this one, and it should not be confused with the meaning of this one, but the pronunciation is the same. Okay, so in this one is which which is the same. Okay. Uh, what about the wish, the heart of the heart is wish. Oh, wish. W -I -S. Uh -huh. That's a wish. Wish. Ah, okay. Okay. Not witch. No, 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 no. That is another word. Yeah. That is another word. Right? Yes. So don't confuse those ones. Ah, okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Anything else? Any other words that you don't understand? Um, you want to make sure that you have the correct spelling, uh, the pronunciation, sorry. How do you spell, how do you pronounce this word? Identify. 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 Don't, don't say it identified. Identify, no, it's I. I identify. So I, I, identify. Identify. Mm -hmm. Correct. And I have a, a doubt. Uh, on the second lines after the word guide, you pronounce it as two words. It's like you. When it says established to provide a guide, it's toward or two word accepted. Two word. Two word. Two word. The stress in the and is with you. You. Word. Two word. Mm -hmm. On the second one. Sure. Yeah. What meaning which? Well, what mean which? This one? What's the meaning? This one or which? this one? This. The first one or the second one? First. This one, which? Uh, which is. It's, it's easier if I tell you in Spanish, um, it, because I mean, it's what we call, it's what we call in English, um, a relative pronoun, but that doesn't make any sense to you right now. So what it is, is it's a word that connects two ideas. And it's like when you say in Spanish, el cual. El cual. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you say, for example, uh, so it says a policy is a term determined course of action. So, una, una um, pol policía es una, un, curso, un curso determinado de acción, el cual, bla, 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 right? Puede ser usado también en sustitución como que, uh, relacionado con el español. El, el, uh, es un curso predeterminado de acción que es establecido para proveer una guía de referencia o algo así, de dirección o algo así. Instead of como la palabra que ah, 
Ah, sí, lo... Exacto. Uh -huh. um, sure, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, I mean, yeah, that's acceptable. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Anything else? Ok, uh, pero en este caso es más correcto usar uh, which que dan. Yes, absolutely. But that's a grammatical thing. And I'm not going to get into that because you're going to learn that later on. Ok, but yes, definitely do not use that. Es decir, no, not possible. If you can, if you can substitute it for el cual, then the correct word is which, not that. Which. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop the, the 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 sharing for a moment because I need to take attendance. Okay. Um, just give me a moment. Okay. So Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Great. Andre Giovanni. Present teacher. Excellent. Edgar. Edgar. Hmm, okay. Something happened to um, Janet. Present teacher. All right. Wonderful. Fabiola. Present teacher. Wonderful. Francisco. Present. Wonderful. Heidi. Present teacher. Excellent. Irene. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Josue. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Excellent. Carla. Present. Wonderful. Melissa. Present teacher. Okay, great. Luis. Present teacher. Excellent. Manuel. Alejandro. Present teacher. Okay. Manuel de Jesus. Present. All right. Uh, Marvin. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Wendy. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Werner. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Noemi. Present. All right. And Juan. Present. Great. Daniel. Present teacher. Excellent. Jorge. Marlene, Ricardo. Present teacher. All right, hey, we got full house. Hey, wonderful. I think this is the uh, one, I think the first time we've had full house complete, full house, excellent. Okay, all right, so we're gonna continue sharing here quickly. We're gonna go to the next part, which is Francisco, who's gonna help us with the next part of um, what is the procedure. And the same, okay. read and circle words that you don't know, okay? At the same time. Go ahead. What is a procedure? In the ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide a reader uh, with a clear and easily understood plan of action required to carry off or implement a policy. A web writing procedure would also help eliminate common misunderstandings by identifying job responsibilities and establishing boundaries of for employees. Good procedure actually permit managers to control events in advance and prevent to or the organization and employees from making costly mistakes. You can see enough procedure as a roadmap where the three details are highlighted. Highlighted. In order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering off an unacceptable part identified by a company's management, management team. Done. All right. Thank you very much, Francisco. Excellent. Okay. All right. Again, I need you guys to give me your, um, your words the words the vocabulary that you don't understand first okay so go ahead write them in the chat
Okay. Is that, I think that's it. All right, so we'll start with the first word I see here is misunderstandings. Um, so misunderstandings, where is misunderstandings? Okay, misunderstandings are when you, when somebody says something, they mean something, and then another person understood something differently. Okay, so the two people are understanding different things. So one person said one thing, and the other person understood it in another way that the first person did not want originally to, to the, that idea to be come across. Okay, so, um, you know, somebody says something, like the person, person A says something, and then person B understands what person A said in a different way than was the intention of person A. Does that make sense? Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next word is wondering. Wondering off. Actually, this, this is actually a phrasal verb, so I'm gonna, I'm going to circle the off as well. Wonder off means to like start walking in different places and you know just to look at different place different things and not really have a direction in mind you just start walking in different directions um uh kind of like you know like children for example children do this all the time children um you know, their parents say, okay, stay here, stay here, don't move. And then the children, they, they, something catches their eye, they can, oh, I want to go see over there, and they go over there, and then they, from there, they move to another place, and then they get lost, right? That's wonder, okay? Wonder off. What, how do you say wonder off in Spanish? Huh? Deambular. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, yeah, kind of like just walking, and and the more you walk, the the farther away you are from the original place, and then you get lost, right? Okay. Or like older people do this a lot too, right? Like um, you know when people are like in their eighties and nineties. You know they're with their family and then they start walking somewhere else and then the family can't find them and you know they get lost as well so that can also happen to you know older people too okay um let's see uh, we have the word procedure uh this is also like a, a cognate in spanish Procedure. So procedure is like like a process, something that continues a process. How do you say procedure? This is like in Spanish, very similar procedimiento. to procedimiento. Mm -hmm. Carry out. Carry out means to complete as well. Um, and so when you when, when you have a task, an, uh, an activity that you have to do, when you do that activity, when you um, do the process of that activity, you carry it out, okay? So how do you say carry out in Spanish? Llevar a cabo. Llevar a cabo, exactly, right? So you have a task, an activity, and when you do it, that process of doing it is carried out. And we have the word, well, wondering, we already talked about, understood. Understood. Okay, um, understood comes from understand, okay? It's, um, that, that's like the past participle of understand. Okay, so you, you understand a wor the word understand, right? Okay, yeah. 
Yeah. All right. So understood is the past participle. Okay, so with a clear and easily understood plan. So it means the plan is easy to understand. That's what it means. Okay. Uh, then we have well written. Well written. Where is well written? Well written. Well written. I can't find it. My goodness. Ah, yes, I got it. A well written procedure. Well written means that you write good okay so it's it, the writing is perfect you know it's there's no problems with the writing you know it's easy to understand the writing the you know the information is very clear it's it's written in a uh you know with correct punctuation that's well written and why is it is it used in a hyphen between well and written is that the way to write this word or yes it's a must oh, yes. okay. it's it yes yes absolutely because it's what we call compound nouns ah okay okay or compound um sorry not compound nouns it's a um, compound adjective ah, okay it's kind of like uh like good looking good looking is hyphenated have you noticed Good looking, it's not separate, it's together. Good looking, you put them together. Good looking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. <laughs> I just write them as it is. Yeah. Costly. Uh, where's costly, 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 costly? Find the costly, costly. Help me, please. <laughs> Can't find it. Costly. Other um, and employees from making costly. Oh, yeah, got it. Thank you. Okay, so making costly mistakes. Costly means that it costs a lot of money. So the mistakes cost a lot of money. Okay, that's what it means. Costoso. Yeah, costoso. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Highlighted. Highlighted, literally, what highlighted means. It's like um, no, I can't highlight something. Where I don't know. I can't highlight. Remarcar or resaltar. Yeah. So if I, for example, I may do this. I may highlight. This is highlight. If I do this, I highlight it. So it means it makes it easy for for someone to see the word. Okay, so highlighted or you know call your attention to that. That's what it means. Okay, so resaltar, remarcar. Okay, and that's it. That's all the vocabulary. All right. Questions about the pronunciation? Let's go. Let's go with that pronunciation words. Uh, I have a doubt with the pronunciation. It is acceptable or is acceptable at the end on the last row acceptable like with a k as a kilo acceptable acceptable Ac acceptable okay what about procedure see what about the first line which one? Brother. Brother. On the first line, the ultimate goal of every procedure. Oh, procedure. Procedure. So the stress is on the on the second syllable. Procedure. Okay. Procedure. The stress in this right here. Procedure. Okay. Anything else? But the words eh, eh, in the one, two, three, four, five, in the fifth line, the word the event. Oh, is is above the word costly? Uh huh. Is events. events with e. E e e. e. Ah, okay. Events. Events. Thank you. This word here is establishing. S establishing. Ah. Establishing. Establishing. 
Because okay. it's with an E, right? Mm -hmm, exactly. So this one's like, normally we put the S and the T together. That's like the normal thing in English. But in this case, the E goes before. So that is okay to say S, right? Establish. That's fine. Think. T-H-I-N-K. Think. Think. Where? Seven line. <laughs> What, what is the word? It is seven line. It the beginning, beginning. Mistake? This seven. one? No? Think. The verb to think. Oh. You can. Miss. Think. Miss. Yes. I have to go to work, teacher. Oh. Oh, <laughs> but I went connected. I will connect it when uh, I arrive my workplace. Okay. Yes, because I need you to finish off the activity with us. Okay, teacher. All right. See you later. All right. See ya. Anything teacher. else? Yes. Um, another question. Not about this. Are we going to do the survey with you? Are we going to do the survey what? If are we going to do the survey with you, the one of uh, in support? Yes, in about four minutes. Okay. Okay. Anything else? No? Okay. All right. So what we're going to do now that, um, now that we've done that, let me just erase all of this. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's see if you guys can, we're gonna move on to the next part. So we have here the reading that we just did right now, but this time what I'm gonna ask you to do is write policy or procedure in the blanks. So according to what you just read, what do these sentences correspond to? Is it a procedure or is it a policy, okay? Go ahead and in your book, you can write procedure or policy, okay? Shouldn't take you very long. Okay, you guys ready? Yes? Yes. All right, let's check. So it's a connection between a company's vision. Policy. Yes, very good, policy. Okay, good. Um, it permits managers to control events in advance. Procedure. Good. It can be compared to a trip map. Procedure. 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 Right. It can be compared to a globe where you find many. Things. 
It can be compared to a globe in many things. Policy. Policy. Very good. Policy. And finally, when people write this well, there are not misunderstandings. Which one? Procedure. Procedures. There you go. Okay. There you go. Those were the answers. Okay. All right. Great. So we're going to stop sharing right now. Um, and we're going to start doing the, we're going to uh, do the, the survey. We're going to start doing the survey right now. Um, so if you guys can open um, open up your, just give me a second. And it, okay, so, um, sorry. Okay, so it, you will, you will either find Um. Okay. All right. So, um, we're going to start. Uh, so I'm going to show you your, you should have received an email that kind of looks like this, right? Or you can also use the WhatsApp that looks like this. Okay, so whichever one you can use. Okay. All right, so go ahead, please, and open. Just give me a moment. Okay, so um, now if at the bottom there, you will be able to see the link for the survey. Okay, so it looks like this. Okay, everybody has that? Yes, no? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Yes, teacher. So over here, what you what we're going to actually we're going to to make this easier for everybody. I'm going to be switching to Spanish so that it's like 100% clear for everybody. Okay. So, aquí en esta parte de acá eh, está le pide el número completo del orden de inicio. Como le pide que vaya guiones y plecas y todo y para que no nos vayamos a confundir, como es, usted puede notar, hay un montón de números, ¿verdad? Entonces, no quiero que ustedes vayan a escribir uno por uno. Lo único que nosotros vamos a hacer es, es simplemente ir y a copiar la información. Por ejemplo, aquí está el mío, ¿verdad? Entonces, vengo yo y vengo y le simplemente... Pongo highlight acá, copio y me voy aquí a la encuesta y lo completo. Lo, pero bueno, lo pego. Ok, así de sencillo. Ok, no quiero que me vayan a, a estar escribiendo números y todo porque uno de esos se nos va un número, se nos queda un número, se fue la, el guión, lo que sea. Entonces, simplemente copy and paste. Ok. Ahora, aquí su nombre completo. 
¿verdad? Su nombre completo va a ir exactamente como está re registrado en Instafor, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿verdad? Con nombre, primer nombre, segundo nombre, eh, los dos apellidos, ¿verdad? Eh, apellido de casada, ¿verdad? lo que sea que él tenga ahí, ¿verdad? Tiene que ir su nombre completo, ¿verdad? Y eh, ustedes ya saben cuál es. ¿Ok? Entonces, en este caso, por ejemplo, a mí yo tendría que copiar así, ¿verdad? Ok, hago copia y lo, prego, lo pego acá, ok. Entonces, así de sencillo. Ok, creo que ya deberían de haber hecho eso, entonces vamos a continuar acá. Correo electrónico. El correo electrónico va a ser el correo que, con el que ustedes están registrados en esa forma. Entonces, eh, si usted se inscribió con un correo, ¿verdad?, de la empresa, entonces ese es el que va a usar, no va a usar el personal. Tiene que ser exactamente con el correo que usted se ha inscrito con Instaform. ¿Ok? Porque uh, acuérdense que Instaform uh, a veces se contacta, ¿verdad?, directamente con los participantes y entonces necesitan tener el correo que ustedes han, con lo que ellos tienen en el registro. Okay. Igual esto, el número celular, lo mismo, ¿verdad? Ok. Como es su número, el celular. Okay. Y pues esta parte solo es de escoger si es el sexo femenino o es el sexo masculino. ¿Verdad? Solo va a poner. En mi caso voy a poner aquí. ¿Verdad? ¿Estamos? Puede ser que, por ejemplo, en el caso, bueno, este, como esta es una, um, una, ¿cómo se llama? Una encuesta que se le pasa ahí a los participantes que han estado tomando el curso, entonces puede ser que si, por ejemplo, usted está como oyente, eh, puede ser que no le aparezca, ¿verdad? Porque como esto es simplemente para llenar la satisfacción de aquellos que están inscritos, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, si ese es en su caso, pues ya sabe ahí cómo, cómo ¿verdad? qué es lo que está pasando. Y ya cuando se ha inscrito, ¿verdad? Con, dentro del curso, ya la próxima vez le va a aparecer el encuesta. ¿Ok? Ok. Um, bueno, sigamos. Eh, el departamento de residencia, ese es donde usted reside, ¿verdad? En, eh, no donde, no, no sería, um, ¿cómo se llama? Donde está su empresa, no, sino que a donde usted reside, ¿verdad? Entonces, aquí usted va a abrir ¿verdad? La, el la pestaña y le va a aparecer todos los departamentos de San Salvador. Pero de El Salvador, perdón. Entonces se escoge ahí. ¿verdad? En el, digamos, en mi caso, yo resido en San Salvador, voy a poner en San Salvador. Y aquí usted pone ya, os tiene que escribir el municipio, ¿verdad? Entonces ¿verdad? puede ser, no sé, o sea, puede ser más fuera aquí en San Salvador, no sé. Um, Podría ser mexicanos, ¿verdad? por ejemplo. Ok, ya usted ya tiene que digitarlo. Ok, eh, hasta el momento vamos bien. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta sobre estas casillas del 1 al, al 7? No, te he eh, Manuel de Jesús, ¿tiene alguna preguntita? Que veo que... Eh, active su micrófono, Manuel, porque no le escucho. O está teniendo problemas para, para activarlo. Sí, no tengo el correo de la encuesta. No tiene. ¿Y qué hay de, de, de WhatsApp? Eh, no lo encuentro tampoco. Lo estoy buscando, no lo encuentro. 
eh, está buscando en el correo electrónico eh, do, que se ha inscrito con, con en, en Safor porque tiene que ser ese correo. Búsquelo bien sí, ahí. Lo, sí, lo, lo busco y no lo encuentro. Va, sí, le, lo le, voy le voy a enseñar nuevamente cómo de, le, le va a aparecer para que tenga. Sí. Eh, va, va a aparecerle un aquí, por ejemplo, eh, lo puede buscar en la barra de, de búsqueda, en esa, en esa casilla de búsqueda. Eh, usted le puede poner, por ejemplo, uh, encuesta, puede, ponga, póngale completar encuesta y le debería de tirar el correo donde le, eh, le han, el correo que le han enviado. Ok, ya estamos aquí. Ok. O si quiere puede compartir pantalla también, se si gusta. O sí, eso. sí, ya, ya la encontré. Ah, va, ¿ya lo encontró? Sí. ¿El, el, ¿Encontró el correo de la encuesta? No, en del WhatsApp lo, lo he tomado. Ah, bien, ok, perfecto. Entonces ya le va a aparecer como así. Sí. Ok. Y sí, ahorita ya lo tengo. Va, entonces usted le va a hacer clic en este, en este enlace que está acá. Okay. Y la va a llevar directamente a la página con, que estábamos nosotros viendo, ¿verdad? Que sería, okay. sería esta de acá. Pero eh, como le digo, te, debe tener los dos las dos cosas abiertas porque hay muchas cosas que simplemente va a ir copy and paste. O sea, va a ir copiando y pegando, como esto, por ejemplo. Para no, tiene que ir directamente copy and paste porque... Si no, si un numerito que nos equivoquemos, ¿verdad? Ahí sí va a ser grave problema. Entonces, eh, tenga las dos cosas abiertas al mismo tiempo. ¿Ok? Eh, bye. Eh, si ustedes tienen problemas para ver el, eh, la información de la orden de inicio, Pueden ahí ver en el chat. Eh, Flor Sánchez nos hizo el favor, gracias Flor, de, de ponernos la información ahí de la orden de inicio. Si ustedes tienen problema, pueden solamente eh, copiar de ahí de, del chat de aquí de Zoom. Y también eh, lo que vamos a ver a continuación. Ok, aquí eh, es la empresa donde trabaja. Esto es importante. Quiero que me presten mucha atención en esto. Yo sé que a veces las empresas tienen un nombre, ¿verdad? Que es como el nombre comercial con que, que todo el mundo lo conoce. Pero eh, en este caso estamos viendo no el nombre comercial, sino que el nombre social. Eso va a usted encontrarlo directamente en, eh, en el correo, ¿verdad? O el WhatsApp que le han mandado. Le voy a, por ejemplo, mostrar a qué me refiero. A ver. Quiero ver. Ok. Um, ok. Por ejemplo, si ustedes pueden observar acá, ¿verdad? Eh, lo voy a hacer más grande. Ok. Entonces, si ustedes pueden observar acá. Uy. Um, aquí está, dice, el nombre de la empresa según Insafor es Asociación Aldeas Infantiles SOS de El Salvador. Ese es el nombre que ustedes van a copiar y pegar. Es como el nombre completo. ¿Ok? Entonces, le voy a dar chancecita ahí que vayan a copiar y pegar para que sea más fácil. Ok. Vaya. ¿Algún problemita con eso hasta el momento? ¿No? Sí, che, solo una observación. Sí. Eh, por lo menos a, a mí no me cae el, bueno, no me cayó el correo al, 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 a mi correo de la, de, la, de la empresa, sino que me cayó el WhatsApp. Ajá. Pero en el WhatsApp no aparece el nombre de la, de la empresa. 
No, no, yo lo he, no, no, no me parece, solo me parece el, el nombre de, del proveedor de la capacitación, el nombre del módulo, o sea, todos los otros datos generales, pero lo que es el nombre de la empresa no me aparece. Yo lo escribo porque yo ya sé cuál es el nombre completo de la empresa, pero, pero en, en la información que mandan por WhatsApp no viene eso. ¿Y ya revisó su correo? Sí, yo estuve revisando ahora porque como ahorita yo no tengo acceso al, al correo de la empresa, solo cuando estoy allá. Okay. Y estuve revisando y no, no, no me había caído. ¿No le cayó el, el correo de, de, de la encuesta? No, no. No me cayó. Incluso la persona que me mandó el, la cosita esta aquí por WhatsApp, este, yo le puse que, que faltaba el nombre de la empresa, pero no me contestó. Ok, bueno, vamos a hacer esta observación entonces. Eh, pero, ¿segura que no lo busco ahí, por ejemplo, en, en los TAM? ¿Podría en, en la, los correos no? Fíjese todo? que en, en, el, en el curso pasado me cayó, cuando me cayó el correo, quizás cayó hoy en la noche, no sé, porque la, la vez pasada que llenamos la encuesta, el siguiente día que, que, que yo llegué al trabajo, ya vi el, el correo, pero eh, digamos que cabal en, en el tiempo que supuestamente lo tienen que mandar, no, no me cayó. Entonces, vale. posiblemente tal vez haya caído hoy en la tarde, ¿verdad? No sé, pero como no, no tengo acceso a, esa correa, a ese correo yo ahorita. Ok, hagamos una cosa, Ivonne. Entonces, yo sé que usted ya sabe el, 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 el nombre de la empresa, ¿verdad? Pero solo para corroborar, hagamos una cosa. Eh, me imagino que ha de tener... Um, el correo, ¿verdad? O el WhatsApp que le ha caído de, de la vez anterior. ¿Sí? Del, sí. del mes anterior. Verifique, solo, solo hágame ese favor de verificar que sí es exactamente así como lo he escrito, con, con los que le ha mandado anteriormente. ¿Me, me explico? Es que, es que bueno, por ejemplo, la vez pasada, eh, en los que mandan en WhatsApp, no viene el nombre de la empresa, ni el de ahorita, ni el del curso anterior por WhatsApp. Entonces, yo como ya sé, lo escribí y cuando yo llegué al siguiente día que vi que ya me había caído el correo, lo verifiqué y si estaba tal cual yo lo había escrito. Ok. Vale. Entonces, um... vale, perfecto. Entonces, eh, sí, vamos, solo, vamos a estar ahí apoyándoles con eso para asegurarnos que la, que la información de la empresa sí él es, es completamente correcto porque sí, si... no, no sé si quiere que se, que se lo mande al, al chat de grupo para que, para que usted tal vez pueda hacer esa observación pero como le digo yo hice la, la observación ahí el, el, el número de la persona que me lo mandó pero no, no, no me contestó ok, bueno eh, vamos a estar pendientes de eso si hay algún problema vamos a, a comunicarnos. No ¿verdad? aparece, no lo envíen. Yo lo que hice fue verificar un documento de pago de lo que me manda la empresa y aparece el nombre completo. Okay, le, le... Es que cuando lo mandan por WhatsApp, mandan la información general, o sea, para no confundir, porque es un genérico que mandan. No van a enviar personalizado por cada compañía, por cada estudiante. Mandan un genérico. Va, le, le, le aparece en, en, en su mensaje el nombre de la empresa. No, en WhatsApp no lo mandan, es lo que le digo. En WhatsApp mandan un genérico. Okay. O sea, es un solo genérico donde están diciendo la información clave, cómo se llama Ajá. el curso, qué fecha inició, en qué fecha terminó, el no. nombre proveedor. Etc. No, no, es, no sale el nombre de la sí, empresa no. a la que uno pertenece. No lo van a personalizar tampoco, Ajá, porque me imagino sí, no. que son cientos de correos de, de WhatsApp los que mandan. Va, entonces, pero, pero en el correo que se mandó sí debería de aparecer. Entonces, sí, yo del, del, correo, del correo de la vez pasada lo, lo, lo tomé, porque la vez, esta vez no mandaron correo, solo WhatsApp, pero ahí aparece. Y si no, también lo comparé con un documento formal de mi compañía y están iguales. Igual, ok, perfecto. Eso es lo que es importante, que el nombre esté igual que aparece en esa forma. Eso es lo más importante. Ok. Bueno, seguimos entonces con la encuesta. Eh, eh, Nombre del proveedor con, con el que se capacitó. Aquí a usted le aparecen un montón de diferentes um, instituciones, ¿verdad? La nuestra, donde usted está tomando el curso, sería... Eh, 
Aquí está. Ese es. Ese es. Inglés corporativo Regal International. Ese tienen que, es el que van a elegir. ¿Ok? Entonces abren la pestaña y eligen este. Inglés corporativo Regal International. Que sea de CB. Luego acá van a poner el nombre del curso. Para que no se me confundan, vayan nuevamente a copy and paste. Pueden hacerlo también del chat, ¿verdad? El chat de Zoom también, ahí um, lo han escrito. ¿verdad? Para que ustedes puedan ver, uh, es inglés para principiante módulo 5. Así que tiene que escribirlo tal cual. No van a poner English, beginner, no van a poner eh, level 5, no. Tiene que ser justo así. Inglés, principiante, módulo 5. ¿Verdad? De hecho, lo voy a copiar y lo voy a pegar acá para que puedan ver exactamente cómo debe ir. Ahí está. ¿Ok? Inglés, principiante, módulo 5. Ahora, esta parte de acá, esto va a ser algo personal, ¿verdad? Título personal, que de modo ustedes van a evaluar eh, los diferentes aspectos. Eh, hay los um, diferentes um, puntajes, digamos, sería insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno, excelente. Y hay tres aspectos a ver. Primero es cómo considera el tiempo empleado para desarrollar el curso. En otras palabras, eh, siente usted que el curso tiene suficientes um, horas o es que cree usted que le hace falta, cree usted de que necesita más tiempo uh, o cree usted que estuvo bien, ¿verdad? Se pudo completar la información en el tiempo debido, uh, etcétera, etcétera. Entonces ustedes van a calificar eso. ¿Okay? Bueno, la el próximo aspecto a evaluar sería eh, el de qué opina de, del contenido y estructura del curso, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, eso es prácticamente, o sea, en sí lo que se utilizó el manual, ¿verdad? Um, la estructura de cómo está hecho, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿verdad? El, el, cómo se va llevando a cabo el proceso, ¿verdad? De, el aprendizaje. Y... El último es, ¿qué opina de las opciones y herramientas tecnológicas utilizadas en el curso? Esto eh, envuelve todo lo que hemos visto en clase, ¿verdad? el manual, um, la, el uso de la plataforma de, de, de Zoom, um, la plataforma en sí de, la, de, de los ejercicios, um, lo que es, todo lo que se ha hecho en clase, etcétera, etcétera. ¿Cómo, le, cómo lo ha visto? ¿Para qué, qué es su, ¿Cuál es su opinión? ¿Ok? Y en esta parte de acá, dice el, la fecha de inicio del curso y la fecha de fin de la sesión de curso. Para eso tenemos que darle clic en el, en el calendario, ¿verdad? Y allí le va a aparecer el calendario, ¿verdad? De este curso en particular empezó. A ver, déjenme asegurarme. Sí, aquí está, miren, el 13 de abril del 2021. Esa es la fecha de inicio. Entonces vamos a venir y vamos a escoger acá 13 de abril. ¿Verdad? Ahí está, el 13 de abril, 13-4-2021. Lo mismo vamos a hacer con, esto, con, con el de felices, la fecha de finalización del curso, que es el día de hoy. Ahí está, muy fácilmente encontrarlo, esta fecha. Y ya está. 11-5-2021. Luego, ¿cuál es teacher, el... Excuse me, teacher. Yes, yes. Uh, you can send my link to the inquest, please. Sorry? Uh, you can send me the link to the inquest. The survey. Survey, please. You, no, ¿No tiene el, el, el enlace del, de la encuesta? No, teacher, lo estoy buscando y no. ¿Y no, no entonces no tiene el, el correo? 
Eh, en este momento no. Ok, vale. Um, tiene, pero tiene que, tiene que abrir el correo, tiene que abrir el WhatsApp porque la información que está ahí es lo que necesita para poder completar el, el, la encuesta. Ok. Ahorita se lo voy a mandar, pero sí necesita encontrar esa información porque si no, ahorita lo he mandado al chat. Pero, porque si no abre ese correo, se le va a imposibilitar el poder completar la encuesta. Entonces, o, o abre el correo o el WhatsApp. Cualquiera de los dos. ¿Ok? ¿De acuerdo, Marvin? Ahí, ahí, ahí búsquelo y me, me, me confirma, por favor, que sí lo, lo haya encontrado. ¿Ok? Bueno. Lo eh, enviaron ahí por el 5 de mayo aproximadamente. Ah, gracias, gracias por el detalle. Ok, ya casi terminamos. ¿Cuál es su nivel de satisfacción de, después de completar el curso? Usted va a decidir si está satisfecho o insatisfecho y va a escoger uno de estos dos, ¿verdad? Y luego aquí dice, mencione qué otros cursos son de su interés. Entonces, ahí usted va a poner lo que sea, que eh, cualquier curso que usted le gustaría, o sea, no, no solamente los cursos que usted sabe quién se acordó, sino que Cualquier curso que usted estaría interesado en tomar. Podría ser, por ejemplo, tomar otro idioma. ¿verdad? Quizá usted quisiera, no sé, aprender francés, ¿verdad? O puede ser, ¿verdad? Que usted está interesado en aprender de Excel. O, ¿verdad? Puede ser carpintería. O cualquier otra cosa que a usted le gustaría aprender, ¿verdad? Que algún curso que ya sea esa forma ofrece o que tal vez en un futuro podrían ofrecer, ¿verdad? Y aquí sus comentarios finales, ¿verdad? Eh, por favor, con, eh, no, de, no dejen eso en blanco. Eh, escriban algo, ¿verdad? Eh, si no se le ocurre algo, ¿verdad? Por lo menos un agradecimiento, ¿verdad? Eh, pero algo, cualquier cosa, cualquier comentario que usted, algo que es, usted le haya parecido o no le apareció o podríamos mejorarse o cualquier cosa. Un agradecimiento. Ahí pongan a su comentario. Al finalizar la encuesta, no me le den enviar todavía. ¿Ok? Todavía no. ¿Por qué? Porque quiero que usted regrese al principio y revise que todas las casillas estén completas y completas correctamente. ¿Ok? Entonces, como les decía, aquí debe ir el, la, la, el número completo de la orden de inicio con todo lo que envuelve los guiones y plecas. Por eso es mejor simplemente copy and paste, ¿verdad? Aquí mismo en el chat, ahí está la información. Si acaso quieren verificar de que sí, ahí, de que lo hayan hecho correctamente. Y su nombre completo, acuérdense, completo según, según su DUI, ¿verdad? Como así como se inscribieron. Correo electrónico de que también está inscrito en SAFORP. Su número de celular. Segúrese de haber escogido una de estas, ¿verdad? Porque tiene que ir completo. También escoger el departamento donde se recibe junto y, y digitar el municipio. Asegurarse que el nombre de la empresa sea según INSAFOR, con prácticamente con el, lo que es el, ¿cómo se llama? Um, la, ¿cómo se llama? Ay, se me olvidó. La razón social, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Y acá acuérdense que tienen que escoger este, no van a escoger otro, ¿verdad? Porque es inglés corporativo, Regal International, SABC. Nombre de curso, acuérdense, es, tiene que ir copy and paste, está el mismo en el chat, ¿verdad? Para que no se vayan a confundir, ¿verdad? No puede ir en inglés, tiene que ir exactamente así. Aquí el número que ustedes escojan de acuerdo a lo que han evaluado. Asegúrense que sean estas fechas, ¿verdad? 13, 4, 2021 y la otra es 11, 5, 2021. Escojan por favor uno de estos dos, ¿verdad? No, no, que no se vaya en blanco esto. En cualquier curso que ustedes quieran, estén interesados en tomar, ¿verdad? Ahorita o en futuro. 
y sus, sus comentarios finales. ¿Alguna preguntita, duda, comentario que tengan en cuanto a esto? A la encuesta. Ok. Habiendo ya revisado que todo esté completo y tal como se, le, se les ha indicado, entonces pueden apretar aquí enviar. Cuando ustedes apreten enviar, les va a aparecer una, un, una fotito que dice que gracias, ¿verdad? Por haber mandado la encuesta. Debería verse algo así. Eh, hay que ver. Así, ¿ok? Entonces dice, gracias, la respuesta se ha enviado. Eso, esa, esa fotito tienen que tomarle captura de imagen, ¿ok? Um, ya sea con su celular o con, sus, o, o con la computadora, no sé cómo sea. Y luego ustedes van a mandarlo al grupo de la clase, al grupo de WhatsApp de la clase. Pero no sin antes escribir su nombre aquí abajo. Ustedes saben que cuando mandan una, una imagen, Siempre les da la opción de, de escribir algo abajo de la imagen. Entonces, ahí en esa, en, es, en esa partecita, escriban su nombre completo. Así como lo escribieron en la encuesta, así lo van a escribir acá. Por ejemplo, aquí Maybelline, Ana Gloria, Monterroso de Soriano. Note que aquí hay tres nombres, ¿verdad? porque así es como aparece. Entonces, así debemos nosotros verlo, tal como usted aparece en esa forma. ¿Verdad? Con un nombre. Los nombres completos, apellidos completos, ¿verdad? Y luego se lo mando. De tal forma que en el grupo de WhatsApp debo yo uh, poder tener exactamente 20 um, eh, encuestas, ¿verdad? Uh, completadas. ¿verdad? Eso debería de yo poder ver que hay 20 um, fotitos de que dicen gracias, la respuesta se ha enviado. ¿Alguna preguntita sobre eso? Ok, entonces, eh, vamos, bueno, creo que eso sería todo. Um, ahorita voy a simplemente quedarme esperando para eh, aquellos que, eh, que necesitan ahí todavía ayuda para poder, um, bueno, para poder ayudarles a completarlo, ¿verdad? Eh, acuérdense de que tiene que ir Um, con su nombre, ¿verdad? Porque si no, no vamos a poder identificar quién es que nos está mandando, ¿verdad? Así que asegúrese de poner su nombre. Eh, y pues eso sería todo, ¿verdad? Um, no sé si tienen ustedes alguna pregunta. ¿No? No, teacher. No, teacher. Bueno, veo que sí, 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 dígame. ¿El siguiente módulo lo llevaríamos con usted o cambiaría? Eh, eso realmente no sabría decirle, no tengo una respuesta a eso porque ni yo sé, no tengo idea. Así que... Me ah, voy a preguntar yo, teacher. <risa> sí, no, lastimosamente no, no, no puedo... No puedo contestarle ni sí ni no porque no, no tengo idea, no nos han avisado al respecto. Vamos a pedir. <ríe> bueno, uh, bueno, si ustedes gustan, pues con gusto será un placer. Pero si no, pues yo sé que siempre van a estar en muy buenas manos, ¿verdad? Yo sé que, que siempre van a, a tener ahí ese apoyo, ¿verdad? De, y también si no llego a estar ahí con ustedes, pues, pero eh, siempre ustedes pueden mandarme correos, eh, pero um, mensajes de, de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Si tienen alguna pregunta, yo con gusto les puedo ayudar. Tal vez no, no puedo decir directamente la respuesta a, a lo, la plataforma porque eso solo tenemos acceso en el momento que tenemos la, la, el curso, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, digamos, es, uh, se pasa en el siguiente nivel, ya no voy a tener acceso a ese nivel. Entonces, ahí no voy a poder ayudarles, pero sí, eh, o sea, no decirles, mire, esta es la respuesta, pero sí les puedo guiar. 
Así que con gusto, ahí está, tiene alguna preguntita, pues con gusto yo les, yo les ayudo. Pero pues de lo contrario, uh, pues para mí ha sido un placer como siempre haber estado con ustedes. Espero que disfruten um, lo que resta de esta semana, ¿verdad? Eh, tómenla un tiempito ahí para descansar, pero también para repasar, ¿verdad? No nos vayamos completamente de vacaciones de, de, de inglés, ¿verdad? Siempre estén en contacto con el idioma. Si eso, aunque sea por, mira, oyendo música o viendo una película, pero estén en contacto para que no se pierda eso, ¿ok? Okay. Perfecto, muchas gracias, okay. teacher. Me ha aprendido bastante. Gracias, teacher. Bueno, me alegro. Gracias, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Y bueno, eso sería todo. A mi parte, solamente preguntarle a quién quiere quedarse. No, teacher. Ok, no hay problema. Y si lo acuérdense, por favor, de completar todo en la plataforma. Okay. Así que cuídense okay. mucho. Y... Gracias. Gracias. Un placer, gracias. Buenas noches. Bye. 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 Buenas noches a todos. Buenas noches a todos. Buenas noches. Good night. See you, everybody. See you next module. ¿Cómo se dice? Nos vemos en el siguiente module. See you next module, yeah. <laughs> but I hope, well, I don't know, but let's hope. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
Ya Mandela. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher, ahí está. Perfecto. Ok, entonces, um, sí, se aseguró, se aseguró, ¿verdad? Que todo estuviera... Sí, sí, igual que, igual que la vez pasada, correcto. Ok, uh -huh. perfecto. Ok, ¿alguna otra cosa con la uh, que... No? Por el momento no, teacher, gracias. Okay. Espero verla en el próximo módulo. Ah, bueno, sería okay. un placer uh -huh. si podemos estar juntos. Ok, gracias, teacher. Bye. Cuídese. Buenas noches. Gracias, igual. Gracias.